Hi you guys. I figured we would just keep the party going and do another declutter. So here we are with my face palettes, okay? I have highlight, contour, blush palettes, all types of stuff in this little area right here. And yeah, there's 45 of them. Four, five. So as I told you guys in the last video, I did just do a declutter last year. If you haven't seen that, then I'll link it in this video. But I am having serious anxiety about getting rid of any of this. I don't think this is going to be a cutthroat declutter like my previous ones have been. And I know I said that on the last declutter videos that I just did, but I mean, I really, I'm looking at this stuff and I don't feel like I can get rid of any of it. This will be very, very hard. So bear with me. This is going to be pretty heartbreaking. It's giving me anxiety right now and we're gonna get started okay so make sure you're subscribed thumbs up this video click the notification bell more declutters will be coming leave me a comment down below and let me know what declutter you would like to see me do next hey y'all if you are interested in purchasing any of my declutter palettes please email me for pricing and availability do so fast because they will sell out see the description box for details all right back to the video so let's start off on a high note. Something I know I can get rid of is this right here. I think I got this in a boxy charm, and this is the Real Her Be Fearless Limitless Blush Kit. It looks really pretty. I just have not used it. Just don't feel like I need it. These are really pretty baked blushes, so I'm gonna go ahead and get rid of those. Something that I'm keeping, which I normally wouldn't, but I'm gonna try to do more Halloween tutorials this year. This is the Wet n Wild Paint Palette, and they came out with it uh, this past Halloween, and I'm gonna go ahead and keep that because, I, again, I do plan on doing Halloween tutorials. So I thought this was really cute, and the price was really good on it. Let's just get rid of some stuff on this table. Some things that I know I'm keeping are the It's My Ray Ray Palette by BH Cosmetics. I've done a tutorial with this, I think. If not, maybe I need to get one out. But it's the It's My Ray Ray Palette. It is a full face palette, highlight, contour, eyes, all of that stuff. I can't even really show you guys because my table's full. But highlight, contour, eyes, everything. Such a good palette. So we are keeping that along with the Melissa Michelle palette as well. I think I only used this once, but I want to get some more use out of this. She did come out with another palette with Ulta, and this was such a nice, versatile little palette here. I love the eye shade, so I'm going to keep this for a little while longer. Some more things that I'm definitely keeping here. One is the Kat Von D Shade and Light palette. I actually recently got this, like within the last, what, six months I think it was, so I'm definitely keeping that. Of course, I'm keeping my Wet n Wild Contour Palette. I actually have two of these. I don't know where the other one is right now, but I'm going to keep both of these. I absolutely love these palettes. You guys know, talk about them all the time. Something I can get rid of is this NYX Three Steps to Sculpt Palette. Um, I mean, it was a good palette. I just have enough little palettes like this where I don't need it, but it actually is really pretty, and this was, this was in the shade D. I'm also going to get rid of this Physicians Formula Bronze Booster Palette. I actually really liked this bronzer, this one down here at the bottom, but there's no sense of me keeping this one for the just the one shade. I'm not going to keep the whole palette just for this one shade, so I'm going to go ahead and get rid of it. For now, I'm going to keep this Tardius Pro Glow Palette. I do not use cream products very often, but I actually did use this in a recent tutorial and I did kind of like it. So I'm going to keep this for the time being and it does smell like chocolate, so I love that. Alright, so I have some keepers sitting here in front of me that I know are keepers. I have the Anastasia Beverly Hills Blush Trios in Berry Adore. Definitely keeping that one. And then this one here I have in Cocktail Party. I really like this one too. It's different, so I'm going to go ahead and keep that. Also, these two blush palettes are brand new. This is the Morphe Blush Trio in Pop of Poppy, which is really, really pretty. Love it. And then I have the trio in Pop of Fuchsia, which I just used in a recent tutorial also. Okay, we're making some decisions here, you guys. I'm gonna let go of the Makeup Revolution Radiance Palette. I was not a huge fan of these highlights, so I'm gonna let that one go, along with the Makeup Revolution Soap X Highlighter Palette. I believe she's a YouTuber, but I wasn't a huge fan of this one either, so this is another one that I can really just let go. You guys, I'm so torn on this one. The Anastasia Beverly Hills and Nicole Guerrero um, highlighting kits, the glow kit. 
I barely used this glow kit. I thought it was so pretty, but I honestly barely used it. I think I'm going to have to go ahead and get rid of it. This kind of hurts my heart, but I think I'm going to go ahead and let this one go. Now, here are two more of the Anastasia Beverly Hills Glow Kits. This one is in That Glow, and then this one is in Sun Dipped. I honestly like Sun Dipped so much more than this one, but what I'm going to do is take my favorite shades out of That Glow and add them to a Z palette because you can pop these out really easily. So I think I'm going to keep like this one golden bronze and also dripping in gold. I might keep bubbly too, but that, those two are really similar. So I might just keep dripping in gold and gold and bronze and add these to a Z palette and then I'll declutter the other two. So we are making some headway here. I'm totally keeping this Lena Lashes Lemonade Highlighter Palette. This thing is like $5 on the regular on their site and it is so, so good. So I'm totally keeping that. One thing I am going to give up is the City Colors Contour Effects On The Go Contour Palette. I used to use this all the time and I really did love it, but I just don't reach for it anymore. So this one can go along with this e.l.f. What is this? The Turks and Caicos. Um, contour palette this was actually really pretty but again it's something that I don't reach for and I'm also going to let go this elf blush palette this is in rosy flush just another thing that I don't reach for I'm definitely keeping this NARS wanted Two palette this is such a favorite of mine it's super pretty blush and highlight so I'm going to let that go I'm, let that go I'm keeping that for sure <laughs> Okay, so we need to start making some we need to start making some decisions here. We are down to the last bit. Need to start making some decisions. I'm keeping this NYX Cheek Contour Palette Duo. I really love this. It's such a deep contour shade. So when I do someone else's makeup that's deeper than me, this is such a good shade to use. I'm also keeping this contour palette. It's the Anastasia Beverly Hills Cream Contour Palette. Something else that's really nice to use when I do someone's makeup that is a little deeper than me. This contour shade, um, yeah, it's just so amazing to use on deeper skin tones. So I'm keeping that. Something I think I can give up is this Sweet Peach Glow Palette. It still smells like peaches. So it's so hard for me to give it up. However, I barely reach for this. I mean, this is supposed to be like a bronzer shade. I don't know who it was bronzing, Jared. I don't know who that was bronzing, but honey, uh-uh. The blush was pretty and the highlight was okay, but I just don't reach for it and I probably won't, so I'm gonna let this go. All right, let's go on to these Juvia's Place Saharan palettes. So there's the Saharan Blush Palette Volume 1, and this is the Saharan Blush Palette Volume 2. Totally keeping Volume 2. This is, I mean, these blush colors are unmatched. They're so pretty. And if you know Juvia's Place, you know that they are super pigmented. So that is a keeper. For the Volume 1, these colors are just so deep. It has some highlight shades in there too, but I just have no idea when I would ever use any deep blush shades like those. Like I, I would probably never use these. That highlight though is super duper pretty and they're so soft. I just honestly don't think I'm gonna use it, so I'm gonna let it go. I'm also gonna let go of this Black Radiance Contour Palette. This is in the light medium. Um, I liked it, just don't reach for it. So I'm gonna let that go. I know I'm keeping this Morphe 8H palette. This is one of their new palettes that they just came out with and I purchased this. The only thing I don't like about it is that the contour shades are pretty red, so I feel like I might end up decluttering this later on, but for right now, I wanna give it another try and just use it a couple more times, so I'm gonna keep that for now. I'm also keeping this Pure Cosmetics Sculptor palette. This came in a boxy charm, and this was such a beautiful, beautiful find in that boxy charm. This contour palette is amazing. I've taken it for travel and I've used a damn near every day since I've gotten it, so I'm definitely keeping that. I'm also keeping this Anastasia Beverly Hills Blush Kit. This is in the shade Gradient. Totally keeping these. And this has that deep blush shade as well, but the one that I love is this one right here in the shade Vegas. This is like my favorite blush shade, so I'm gonna keep this palette for now. For now, another keeper is also this Tarte and Makeup Shayla Contour Palette. I'm definitely keeping this. I totally forgot she had a contour palette with Tarte, but this was such a good palette, so I'm gonna keep this in my collection for the time being, along with the Anastasia Beverly Hills Contour Kit. This is the original 
original contour kit. Like I've had this for so long, but I can't see myself getting rid of it for nostalgia's sake. This is like what started the whole contour kit craze. So I'm keeping these and I, I mean, I really love this. I love the yellow shade and I also really love this contour shade right here. And this one was really nice too, so. I'm also gonna keep this Too Faced Coco Contour. Really loved this. Okay, so let's talk about these e.l.f. blush palettes. Let's talk about those. This one was in light. This one's in light. Try not to blind you guys. Can it go all the way down? Oh, it can. So this one's in light, and then this one was in dark. I kinda really like them both. The nice thing about this, though, was that you can pop the pans out. Can I do it without breaking my nail? I'm not gonna do it right now because I need a fill and my nail might break. But um, yeah, you can pop the pans out. So what I might do is switch some, some of these shades out and just make one palette. It's so like I don't need this shade. I don't feel like I need this light pink shade. Um, so I would keep those two and probably from this palette, I would put those two in it and we'd make a full palette. But I feel like I don't need both of them together. So I'm gonna work on switching out those pans. Pretty sure I'm keeping both of these Morphe palettes. This is the 9N blush palette. Like, have you ever seen anything less beautiful? Like, or more. <laughs> have you ever seen anything more beautiful than this? That's really pretty. And then I have their contour palette in the 9C. I love them both. So I'm keeping both of those. This is the Makeup Revolution Contour Palette. I think I can go ahead and let this go. It was a good contour palette, but I just don't need it. I don't reach for it. So I'm going to let that one go. I'm also gonna let go of their blush palette. These are really, really pretty, like baked blushes but I just never ever reach for them. I don't know if I've ever used this. So I'm gonna let that one go too. I'm gonna keep this Marc Jacobs High Filter contour and highlight palette, but I must say I was very disappointed in it. I don't feel like the, um, the contour shade is as dark as I would like it to be, but I'm gonna keep it for a little bit and try to get some more use out of it. All right, so I had this palette sitting on my table, but it's completely empty, so we have 47 palettes, not 48. This is the, oh, this was pretty. The City Colors Timeless Beauty Palette. This is so pretty, but honestly, I'm just not using it. Oh, that is gorgeous. But I'm just not reaching for this. I'm not, so I'm gonna have to let it go. But gosh, am I sad about that. And the last palette is this Maybelline Master Blush Contour and Highlight Palette. I think I wanna keep this. I actually really like this palette. First off, I don't know how it's, oh, it's color and highlight kit is what it is. So I'm gonna keep this. I do really like it and I love to do like full face of one brand looks now. So this has a, a highlight shade, which is gorgeous. And then it has this blush shade right here. And this one, if I use a light hand, I can use it also. So I'm gonna keep that. I didn't do as well as my other declutters, but I still got rid of more than I thought I would. So I got rid of four of these Makeup Revolution palettes that I just were not using, two glow kits, I got rid of a Juvia's Place blush palette, one e.l.f. blush palette, a Black Radiance palette, two blush and contour duos from e.l.f., a NYX palette, Physician's Formula, Real Her, Too Faced, city color and also another city color so that takes away that takes away 17 palettes from my 47 which leaves me with 30 face palettes still an excessive amount but definitely a lot less than what i had so i'm happy i was able to get rid of that and that's all for this video like i said before please don't forget to subscribe to my channel and also let me know down below which videos you would like to see next whether it's a declutter video or something else let me know because i'm gonna be pushing these out to you guys all right i love you so so much thank you so much for rocking with me throughout this declutter series i think this is like my third or fourth declutter series on youtube so i've been doing youtube for quite a while now and so um for you guys that have been rocking with me since like my first declutter or even my last declutter thank you so so much to my oldies and to my newbies there's so much more to come i love you guys and i'll see you in the next one bye